Video content marketing is a mature business in Australia, but it's growing elsewhere. When we first started uh, the branding media in, in Asia, it was uh, a fledgling idea and we were really pioneering taking our business model for marketing services into a whole new territory. Now the international arm of the business is expanding faster than the domestic after Damien Bray moved to Singapore four years ago. They call it the Zurich of the East. so. It's a, a very safe place to be building a business from in terms of you know, corporate structure. Despite growing up in Sydney's west, Damien considers himself Asian. I think I am Asian now. I think in terms of my sensibilities and, and be it from a business viewpoint or a cultural viewpoint, I think I now view the world through somewhat of an Asian lens culturally. Jenny Zhang moved to Australia from China in the 1990s but returned to Beijing three years ago when she couldn't get work in Sydney as an actress. So just not a lot of roles out there for us or the ones that we get to eventually you know get to audition like once or twice a year would have been um, you know very stereotypical roles. She now runs a consulting agency bringing together Chinese and Western production companies. I definitely see uh, a need uh, you know, a niche for us and it's working. Um, it's a still working progress, but I definitely think it's the right decision. Jenny and Damien are just some of the growing number of Australians who have left the country in pursuit of greater business opportunities. The Bureau of Statistics says in the year to April, more than 92,000 Australians permanently departed the country, an increase of nearly five and a half percent. While New Zealand was the number one destination, Asian nations featured prominently in the top 10, with Singapore and Hong Kong most popular. This is partly due to the relaxation of immigration policies in certain countries and the need then within these countries to sort of fill skill gaps in, in a growing economy. The digital space is expanding. We're now seeing grown, growing numbers of what are termed as digital nomads or location independent professionals. They are working from laptops in, in a range of tourism destinations in Asia, but also other parts of the world today. Global opportunities in a shrinking world. Ricardo Gonsalves, SBS World News.